Consider the spectacular weirdness of this behemoth, Spinosaurus. One of the largest killers ever to walk the Earth. So huge and fantastic is this predator that he's managed to steal the show, literally, from T-Rex. When it came time to scare the pants off moviegoers for a third time, Jurassic Park scientific advisor Jack Horner knew exactly what he wanted. I decided that the T-Rex had had enough press and we were gonna get rid of him. And so I had Stephen put Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3. Spinosaurus is, as far as we know, the largest meat-eating dinosaur. The animal was somewhere around 60 feet long, which makes it a lot bigger than a T-Rex, which is around 40 feet long. So that's, that's a pretty cool dinosaur. Cool and mystifying. Bigger than T-Rex, but with a head that looks like a crocodile's and stacked with spines along its back as tall as a man. The spines, up to six foot long extensions of the animal's vertebrae, have been the subject of lively debate. Some think they anchored a massive muscular hump that would have made the enormous dinosaur all the more powerful. Others have suggested that the spine supported a skin-covered sail that could help regulate the animal's temperature by radiating heat or catching the sun's rays. One thing is clear. The spines must have been doing something important because they would have been a drag, literally. I think it would have made the animal more clumsy, I mean, quite frankly. It would have made it less agile. It would have made it heavier. It would have made it catch wind in a strong breeze. There's no good advantage to it that you can think of except showing that, hey, I can grow this five-foot sail, and I'm healthy, and I'm bigger than you. And here I am over here. There I am over there. This is my territory. You're my mate. Horner agrees that the sail was for showing off. But he thinks Spinosaurus's spine might have made a nicer display in the water, where the creature may have spent most of its time. Why? Because the creature's head bears a remarkable resemblance to that of a crocodile. A really big crocodile. Its snout is constructed for eating fish. And so it's quite likely that these animals actually were aquatic. And so the only things that were really sticking out that were visual were sticking out of the water, were these big fins on their backs. And so, you know, much of their display may have actually been while they were in the water. We have never really seen anything quite like it in the dinosaur world or, or thereafter. I mean, they're an example of evolution gone wild. Poor T-Rex, taking a backseat to Spinosaurus on the big screen. But let us not forget that when it comes to bizarre killing machines, T-Rex is in a class all of its own.